Hi there, <laughs> and welcome. welcome to part 15. Yeah, part 15. I've accidentally done a code on the wall here, so we instantly get an anti-cube straight away. That's um, a nice surprise. Yeah, I did that one up on the top right there, so that's up, left, right trigger, A, left trigger, right, A, down. And then there's another one there, but like, I, I'm really not sure about this place. So... If you didn't get that, just remember what Ross said in slow motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, right. Do you want to write this down for me a second, and I'll tell you, and um, then we'll see if it works. I don't think yeah, it will. Right. right. So that's up. Yep. Left. Yep. Right trigger. Yep. A. Yep. Left trigger. Yep. Right. Yep. A. Yep. Down. Now yep. I don't think this will do anything here, but I think it might be needed later. So if you just do it a second, right. But there's no more puzzle in this room, so I don't think it'll do anything, but go ahead. Right, up. Yeah. Left. Yeah. Right trigger. Oh, crap, I've done it wrong. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's nothing left in that room, but um, next to those codes, you could see, like, um, little symbols, and they are numbers. So is there any point keeping that code wrote down? Or yeah, just later? keep just keep hold of it, because I think you yeah. might need it at some point. I can't remember, though. Right. I like the little benches in this area. Okay, so there's nothing in this room. There was so a boiler. Like a city. Huh? It does seem like a whole city, this area, but this yeah. is abandoned. Yeah, it's, it's bit, quite bit weird, isn't it? So there's thing, really. one more area, yeah. yeah. I just love the design of it. Like, with the neon lights, it just looks really cool. Mm. Come on. He climbs up ladders quite slowly, but who doesn't in a video game? Uh, a seagull's is characters tend to like sort of fly up the ladders. Mm. This is kind of cool, like little bunk beds. Yeah, so it's definitely, this game is definitely post-apocalyptic, no doubt about it. Well, mm. I'm sort of kidding, but you know, <laughs> it's a bit weird that you find these uninhabited areas. Uh, is, where yeah. the wildlife seems to have taken over. You go into houses and there's caterpillars and black holes and uh, beds with no one in them. Ah, there's the last door here. Sorry, I was just looking. Yeah, beds with no one in them. Rats everywhere. Roaming yeah, the streets. Definitely weird. There's definitely some fan deep fan theories going on here. <laughs> Will Phil come out with the answers? This this No, what this rat we don't do? deserve it. Oh yeah, true. Oh. What the hell's that rat doing in the corner? Right, okay, we've completed this area. So that was a really cool area, but you know. Not Short and sweet, like most of the areas towards this last bit of the game. And actually, the whole game is kind of short and sweet, really, because, um... I'll say, because we're only probably, like, halfway through the actual Let's Play here on now, so... Um, maybe. I don't yeah, know, I, judging I, by the cube count, I so there know. must be a lot of cubes crammed up near the end of it. Hmm. Well, I have to go back and do a lot of things as well. There will hmm. be some backtracking going on. What about on. that hour that we need to go? Yeah, I'll, I will go. do that at some point. Uh, here's another nice zoom down. So this is the ancient city, and there's okay, people. Cool. Yeah, 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 it's not Lots nearly of people. as bleak mm. as most of this weird game. These people have weird heads as well. Look at all those heads. Their heads are like longer. So if you talk to anyone in this place, um, you don't get what the hell they say. Yeah, they, see, that's how they talk. You can translate like every. Yeah, single... that, I was gonna say someone's gone through the effort of doing that. I'm sure, and it would. Yeah, so that wasn't fun. This guy is saying weird stuff like "Have a nice day" or "What if they were like insulting you?" What if they were like? Actually, do you know what? Now it's funny you said that because well, the music's loud here. I have um, translated one person. The guy said that I had a weird head. Okay. Which is really yeah, funny. Um, so yeah, on. this guy's living life on the edge down here. Jesus Christ, he's close to falling off, isn't he? Yeah. Um, so let's get going. So this place so, is really cool. So it's called the Ancient City. Why is it? What's ancient? Like uh, they old language. Yeah, I think so. And like, there's a lot of stuff about owls and stuff here. And owls are ancient. See, look at that door there. I don't even know. Apparently, we have enough cubes to open that door now. But I what, won't open it where, yet. Where does that door lead to? Uh, maybe the end of the game. I think. Or maybe to another door. It's probably another door. 
Yeah, well, that's what this game seems to be. Network of doors. And look, it's a code thing on the wall. It is, step. and there's also one there, but it's like... I don't know what this is supposed to signify, because as you can tell, they're still like painting it. And there's yeah. like scaffolding and stuff, but there's nothing left in that room. So you can't do any actual scanning here? Yeah. It doesn't... You don't need to do anything there. Okay, well, they're for an ancient city, they're pretty advanced if they're putting QR codes on the walls. Yeah, they are. I don't want to go past the door and open it yet because I like the satisfa satisfaction of it, like all lighting up and stuff. So I'll go around this way. Right. <laughs> I'm weird like that. No, it's okay. I think most people will be the same. Also, it helps you keep track of where you've been, I guess. I don't know. I guess the map does that anyway. But whatever. So, so in this game, there's two different throne rooms. And they both have a linked um, anti cube with them. And as you can see, as I turn there, you can see a code on the wall. Yeah. So if you could write this down for me, please. Yeah. Bloody hell, I'm going to. Right, okay. Uh, so that's right trigger. One, one second, one second. Okay. I actually minimize it. Right, yeah, go. Right trigger. Yep. Left trigger. Yep. Right trigger. Yep. Left trigger. Yep. Right trigger. Yep. Left trigger. Yep. Right trigger, right trigger. Yep. I'm starting to think this is the one for the achievement, but try it a second. Right trigger. Yep. I don't think it is. Left trigger. Yep. Right trigger. Yep. Left trigger. Yep. Right trigger. Yep. Left trigger. Yep. Right trigger. Yep. Right trigger. Is that it? Yeah, I don't think that... I swear the achievement one was different. Hmm. Well, maybe I have to do that in the other throne room, so... Wow, I I really do sound like someone that's completed this game 100%. Keep hold of that one then. Se second second code that I have to keep hold of for this part that hasn't shown its relevance yet. So this is a bit of a weird one, because owls can spin the their head. Fuck? The this owl follows you. With the, the candles. It is, yeah. This is the creepy ass room. It's a bit of a weird shrine, isn't it, to like owls and stuff. Um, so let's go up onto the next level, because I think I've done everything down here. Here's a morbid fall. Do you think anyone's ever tried to turn an owl's head and snapped its head off? Uh, probably. Like yeah. a little kid or something that's turned into a oh, serial killer. How the hell did it get hold of that? How, get, how the hell did a little kid get hold of an owl? I don't know. Hey, another cube. Which Very is, nice. like, really weird, because because I was in the shadow then, the sound was weird. <laughs> that was odd. So... There's a bit of writing here and stuff, which we're not going to translate, but... Um, it looks like there's a cock drawn on the wall. I think this is to show you how to... Um, multi like, how to work out the numbers and stuff. I uh, think. Because, like, that's one, maybe. That's two, and that's three, or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out later on. But there's, like, things about, like, um, squids or octopuses in this game that are kind of, like... Octopi, isn't it? Octopi, Sorry, I hate, be, I hate to be an asshole. That's alright. <laughs> um, but yeah, something about them. They're like the en they used to be enemies of like owls or something like as you can see, or they used to or they used to rule the humans or something. I don't know. So Pretty the weird. owls were the overlords. Something like that. Complete. I really don't know. I'm probably sound like a complete fool. There's another key. Very nice. I'm probably oh, sound like an idiot. We haven't. Got a key in ages and yeah, so no, it's been a while. happy. So happy! Right, okay. Good. I'm glad you're happy. Yeah. Uh, that's everything on this bit. I am just ecstatic. <clears throat> that was probably disgusting on the mic then when I swallowed. So as you can see here, they they're in the process of building a gate, or it used to be a gate, but now it's like destroyed or something. Oh my god! One of the top players of Dota in the whole of Europe just started playing a game though. Great. So there's one more secret here, apparently. He literally is like, um, Natslix is literally. I think mean, Jake said in like the top ten in the UK for Dota. Is he actually? Apparently, yeah. Probably not. Well. So there's some sort of puzzle here, but I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, we'll probably have to find out in the next part, because well. Okay. Outside. Well, actually, in the next part, what we're gonna do is uh, complete the game. Because we are going to go through this oh door. Oh my god, that was abrupt. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> but only completing the game, like, the first part. Because we're nowhere so near 100% yet. The next part won't be the final part. It will just be no. the credits thing. There's something really special behind that door. Actually, I don't know if it will be the end of the game. But I guess we'll have to find out together. Because I've forgotten. <laughs> okay. So, see you for the next part. See you for part 16. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.